Hey everyone, welcome to a video today about how MakerDAO works. So a quick outline about this video. First, we're going to explain what MakerDAO is. Then we'll explain how DAI, which is basically a US dollar in the system, is created. Then why people create DAI and what is MKR. Don't worry if you don't understand any of these terms. We'll be covering them point by point. So starting on number one. What is MakerDAO? MakerDAO is, is essentially a system that allows you to generate one US dollar or many US dollars by using your ether. So think of it as a little black box where you put in ETH and you get back out die. And which is basically think of this is a US dollar. Okay, so how does this theorem kind of become die is what you might be thinking. Well, the key thing here is that you always have to supply 150% of the Ethereum value compared to DAI. So let's say Ethereum is currently worth $150. And if you deposit $150 to, uh, hold on, let's put this here. If you put $150 worth of Ethereum into MakerDAO, then what you'll get back is 100 DAI. So as you can see, 150 divided by 100 is equal to 150%. So as long as you put as much ETH into the system, you'll get back out DAI. Now, what this means is that anyone who holds DAI knows that there's always a lot more ETH backing each US dollar. So this is how it works when the price of Ethereum is at $150. Now let's say the price of Ethereum went down to, uh, or is going down, and it hits $100. So now your one ETH can only net you, uh, it would be a certain amount of DAI, but you wouldn't be able to net 100 DAI. So as a result, what the system will actually do is take away your ETH. So, sorry, let me get rid of this. So let's suppose that the price of ETH goes down to $100. What this means is that these two things have a one-to-one -one ratio instead of a 1.5 to 1 ratio. So as a result, what MakerDAO does is it takes this person's Ethereum and sells it on the open market in order to pay back the die that's borrowed. Think of it as a loan, where your Ethereum is uh, kind of like something valuable, which MakerDAO can hold on to. The die is something that you have. So if the thing that's valuable is less valuable, then what MakerDAO will do is sell it to make sure that it's equivalent to the item that you have. It's kind of like a bank um, in a way, where rather than using your house as a guarantee of you borrowing money, you use your Ethereum in this case. Okay, so I guess that conceptually makes sense. The question which you might be wondering is that why would anyone uh, actually want to uh, create DAI, right? Why would you want to put more Ethereum than you have into a system if you could just sell that Ethereum and probably get the same amount without having to worry about uh, losing your Ethereum? And the question is, uh, the reason for this is this thing what we call leverage. Now, what leverage means is uh, in finance is a way that you can use one thing to do something else. And I'll explain it a bit more co concretely. So in this case, if you're a holder of ETH, most likely you think the price is going to go up in the long term. And for you, you don't want to sell your ETH because that means that if ETH is $100, if it goes to $1,000, you'll lose out on this upside over here. It's gone. So 
By using MakerDAO, you can use your Ethereum to generate some dollars. So ETH to dollars. But the, that added upside is you get to keep your ETH. So in this case, some uh, what we might see is maybe it's a company which did an ICO. They have a bunch of Ethereum and they need to pay employees so they can keep their Ethereum and pay their employees with real dollars. It's kind of like an everyone wins situation. But another use case which we see is that people use their ETH to generate dollars and then buy more ETH and deposit it back to MakerDAO, right? So let's kind of run through how that works. So one ETH is equal to $150. And then you uh, kind of manage to get 100 die, which is equal to $100. Now let's suppose during this time, ETH moons to $300 a piece. Now what this means is that your original one ETH is now actually worth $300. So MakerDAO is a system will say, hey, you know what? You can go ahead and borrow 100 more die. So now you've got this extra $100, which you can play around it, which what you do is you decide to get uh, a third of an eighth and give it back to MakerDAO. All right, so throughout this whole process, what that means is that as the price of Ethereum goes up, you can use it to generate more DAI, which gives you more ETH, and you lock it back in MakerDAO. And eventually, one day when you want your money back, you can simply pull a bit of ETH out of MakerDAO, uh, sell it, and close out or pay back the amount of DAI that you've borrowed. Because remember back here, you've kind of taken out a loan and you owe this so-called bank $100, so you have to pay back the bank in order to get back your Ethereum. So that kind of uh, hopefully explains why people create DAI. Now, one important thing which I didn't mention in this uh, whole system is the fact that uh, when you borrow uh, DAI from the system, you pay what's known as a stability fee. Stability fee. Or in layman's terms, is literally just the interest rate for the system. So the interest rate is set by people uh, who hold MKR tokens. MKR. MKR is known as the governance token for MakerDAO. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so if you have the MKR token, you can essentially control or have an influence as to how the MakerDAO system works. And more importantly, you can actually vote on what the stability fee should look like. Now, if you set the stability fee too high, then people won't use MakerDAO because they'll have to pay back a lot in interest. But if you keep it too low, then you lose out on potential profit. So the idea here is that these MKR holders are continually governing to make sure that the system works correctly, that the fees are correct, uh, and everything functions as normal. So in a way, when we think about MakerDAO, we've got DAI and MKR. This is the stable one US dollar. And this is, think of it as like a ownership um, slash governing token. And that hopefully explains uh, how MakerDAO, uh, what MakerDAO is. So to recap, a system which allows you to use your Ethereum to get DAI. We explain how DAI is created through essentially locking your uh, ETH inside MakerDAO, generating DAI, paying a stability fee, and as the price decreases or uh, increases, you can do various things in the system. Hopefully we explain why people create DAI, which is to either use their Ethereum to pay salaries of their business 
or simply as a way to get more Ethereum as the price increases. And then last of all, we explain what MKR is. So essentially a governance token, uh, which sets the fees and earns a part of this profit as well. Uh, and it's probably most similar to like equity in a company. It allows you to be sh a shareholder in this uh, global online bank on Ethereum. And uh, yeah, I think that hopefully gives you a holistic overview of how MakerDAO works. And uh, I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching, guys.